It's Monday, April 18th, a sunny day here in Seoul. Welcome to Korea Now, and these are your daily headlines. South Korea's new COVID-19 cases fall to a 10-week low as the Omicron variant began to recede. The country added 47,743 new infections on Monday after reaching the peak on March 17. Also on the same day, the country lifted most of its restrictions except the mask mandate to return to pre-pandemic life. Restaurants and cafes are now allowed to operate without constraints on hours and capacity. The 10-person cap on private gatherings was also removed. The government said outdoor mask wearing will be decided after two weeks based on a review of the COVID situation. The main opposition People Power Party and minor opposition People's Party officially declared their merger on Monday. The big announcement came in line with an earlier deal between President-elect Yoon suk and his coalition partner An Cher Su. The two parties approved the merger at their respective Supreme Council meetings and will now jointly field candidates for the June 1st local elections. The recent merger was part of an agreement between Yoon of the PPP and An of the People's Party, under which An dropped out of the presidential race just days before the election to back Yoon's campaign. The Supreme Prosecutor's Office convened an emergency meeting of six top prosecutors Monday amid the Liberal Democratic Party's prosecution reform drive. During the meeting, they discussed follow-up measures to Prosecutor General Kim Uzi's resignation and sought ways to protest the DP's push to deprive the state prosecution of its investigative power. Kim offered to resign on Sunday, saying he takes responsibility for a related ongoing legislative process against the state prosecution service. However, President Moon Jae-in dismissed Kim's resignation offer and met with him for a talk. Those are your top stories for today. For full-length articles, you can always check out our official website linked down below. And don't forget to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.